Hello, all you dragonborn and to the peoples of Nandalore. I'm back with you again. I got another, I got a new tutorial for you guys. First, let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below the video and I'll get back to you. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, go ahead and use that Ko-Fi link in the description. Or you can use, click on the join button or the super thanks button below the YouTube video. Okay guys, let's get into this. Roll that intro. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Before we get started, uh, I need to do, give you a little back information. Uh, this, this video is to be able to port standalone followers to Xbox correctly. Uh, an example is the follower I have standing with me, Kimberly. She, she's perfect on Xbox. Now, I'm doing this tutorial specifically for one person because he needs to learn how to do this. You know who I'm talking to. But I'm going to help you out. So, we're going to get into the tutorial right now. Okay, the first step is, is you need to make a folder on the desktop. We're going to make a folder, and we're going to call this just something generic, face gen. Just to, just to do that. Now, you're going to need the face gen of the follower that you want to port. So you go to meshes and go to actors and go to character, face gen data, data face geome. And we're going to port um, this character, Cecilia. Now, if it has a high poly head, you have to grab the head tree and this here but for right now what we're going to do is is we're going to just drop that back down for right now open this folder up what you want to do is is you want to take this if you have this already installed if you're using if you're using like uh nexus mod manager like the person i'm making this tutorial for or you're using Vortex, you'll find this in the data folder. Otherwise, you'll find it, if you're using Mod Organizer 2, you'll find it in the uh, folder for whatever uh, NPC that you want to port. And if it's already in BSAs, BSAs you'll have to unpack those, uh, copy them to, and put them in a new folder and unpack them. But in this case, we're porting one that would be in the data folder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag this over or copy it, whatever you need to do. We'll do the whole copy thing and we'll paste this in right here, right? All right, then you go to data, textures, actors, character, face gen data, face tint, and you go to the folder that's named after your follower or whatever mod you are porting. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna copy that texture file from here. So you've got this right here. That's good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and drop that back, take my, take my uh, Skyrim up to my Skyrim data folder. We're gonna leave both of those folders open. So we don't need this. And we're gonna to wanna to keep the face gen and 
all that. So now I'll go ahead and I'll open up the kit and I'll show you how this is going to work out. Okay, here we are back in the kit. Now I'm going to port my Cecilia uh, follower to Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead and push OK. I already have her all set up and everything. And this plugin is just a regular plugin. It's not ESL flagged or any of that. So, because it doesn't work on Xbox, you have to make sure that they're just regular plugins. If you don't know how to uh, switch it back from ESL flagged, you have to use uh, AE Edit or SE Edit Quick Clean, and you have to remove the ESL flag from the plugin. All right, we got this loaded up. We're going to go ahead and sign into sign into Bethesda Net here. and that is good there so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna upload plugin and archive to bethesda net and go for the xbox and it says the uh meshes and textures already exist because i forgot to delete them but if you don't have don't have the bsa's already made you just push no and what you'll be presented with is the upload window. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go through and remove anything that doesn't have to do with the mod, like this textures, actors, character, blank D mail, blank detail map, don't need it. Game already will provide it. So I'm gonna scroll down here. Same thing with this uh, textures blood edge. I'm gonna highlight that. And if it's a standalone character, it'll have its own body texture. So you leave those and scroll down and look. See, and here's another one. I don't need this wench outfit. And down here at the bottom, you really have to make sure if it says textures, actors, character, female, female body, all this, you really have to make sure to remove that. Otherwise, you will change everybody's game to whatever te skin texture you have installed. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Now, when you hack for Xbox, what happens is, is it will, uh, it'll take the standalone mesh, the original face gen from the follower, and it resets it back to a default state which means it'll be the default face. It looks really ugly. But what we're going to do is is we're going to go to we're going to go to our Skyrim data folder. We're going to go to meshes. We're going to go to actors, character, face gen data, face geo, go into our folder for our follower and just leave that right there. And then open your folder that you that you uh made for the face gen and you, you'll see this here now you can see that there is a difference by the date modified this one was modified yes yesterday this one was made today so you want to take and just drag that over to this folder or copy and paste whatever you got to do that part is good so now you take and you highlight this and remember i said if it's a high poly head follower you need the tree files so you you highlight those drag them in drop them into the box and you'll see it come up right here now what you're going to want to do is is go to data folder textures actors character face gen data face tint go into your folder like that and go to your face gen folder because you need this texture here which was modified on 10.4 and this one is modified on 10.9 so you want the older one and you just go ahead and drop that in there and you want to 
drag that across. Now, go back to your data folder, go to your meshes. If you have armors that, um, if you have armors, you're gonna wanna put the uh, tree files in the T dot TRI files. So I'm gonna go to the her folder that I have set up here. And these are right here. If you don't have these, rebuild them in body slide. Rebuild the uh, armors in body slide. And you want to make sure to have this build morphs button checked. And then you rebuild it like that. And it'll what it'll do is is it'll put the tree file for this outfit in her in the uh, clothes but we're looking at the armor so we want to go ahead and go to this armor here and we're just gonna build that right there and what will happen is, is it'll change the tree file it'll put the tree files in so go ahead and check all of your tree files pull them across drop them in you'll see them here in the right here now you want to do the same thing with any clothes uh, put the body in if it's a standalone follower that has its own body you want to grab all these tree files and put them in there uh, same thing with brows like this has high poly head with high poly brows so you want to have those tree files in there now here's the clothes Grab the, all the tree files here and go ahead and drop those in there like that. And just check it. Make sure that you have the female head tree, female browse tree, the nif, the mesh, and the texture. You've already pulled them across, so you pack your files. And it'll take a second. Because it always takes a second, but just let it do its thing. Don't touch it. Just let it do its thing. Now, at this point, for the person I'm making this mod for, he usually puts them in the work in progress and then does mod drops. So now I'm putting them in the work in progress, not because uh, I do mod drop streams. I'm doing it because the haters hate me. And if I post anything public, they take they flag my they flag down my my mods. So I don't I don't even worry about them. Now you you will need to if you're doing a a port a new port you create your new mod all that. But see I'm just gonna edit this mod and I make sure it's in the work in progress. But if you're posting it public, you want to put it in followers, except, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But then we're going to update it and overwrite this. And it takes it takes a couple of minutes to uh, upload the file. So that's all right, because everything will work out. And once it's uploaded, it will say, open this open this up in uh, the confirm on Bethesda net or whatever it says. Let me see here. Yeah, click here to finalize. Okay, we'll finalize it. And because I want to go down to my edit here and because I'm going, I'm doing this for a mod drop, I need to put this in here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and the save button and it is all successfully updated all right and then click the close button and then close this out all right guys that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give a shout out to the person that i was making them making the tutorial for and that's Gaming Me Joe. He does Xbox mod drops on stream. So 
check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Uh, if you're on Xbox, you can you can pick up some great mods uh, through that. That I'm right behind you. Bethesda probably won't let you have anyway, but you can go pick up great stuff. All right. So got your back. if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button and then share it on your social media. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. If you've got any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down below the video and I'll get I'll back to you. Back. Those are all the free and easy things you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, go ahead and use the Ko-Fi link in the description or click the join button or the super thanks button Still below here. the video. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching again. And until next time, guys, keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. Always watch the skies, traveler.